So, with all of the new Call of Duty news going on about World War Two, I decided, in my ultimate crazy wisdom, to jump on to Modern Warfare 2. Grenade City. What is it like in 2017? Do you know what? It, it wasn't that bad. It really was not that bad. And this game particularly, that you're seeing in the background, it's not the best game. And I go 14 for 8, it's not like anything world breaking. It's not like I get a tactical nuke or anything like that. No, 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 none of that stuff. But I had a lot of fun playing this. Comparing it to Modern Warfare 3, which I've been playing a little bit of over the last few days, not so much campy, definitely not so much campy. Definitely a lot more grenadey, and you all know what I mean by grenadey. Look at this guy here, who, who managed to shoot his grenade, switch over to the gun, and still kill me. Obviously, connections have got a little bit to do with things, but overall, the hit detection on um, Modern Warfare 2 was actually pretty good, so I can't really complain on that kind of front. But this particular game, I decided that I was going to take off my headset and I was using uh, Sitrep because there were so many people using Claymores and stuff so I decided to put that on and I really hate hearing my own footsteps so I was like I'm gonna take my fucking headset off I ain't gonna use it I'm gonna sit, sit next to me I'm gonna listen to it through the TV and see how we get on and I, had a, I really enjoyed this game and not just this game I had I probably played six seven games maybe eight games of this and it was it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable, even though it, this game is probably the craziest Call of Duty, other than the new ones with all the advanced movement. But this one with Commando Lunge, you could have uh, Marathon Lightweight Commando. Mad setup, mad setup. If you want to go around just knifing people, not very good for me because I play on tactical, so I have to use, move my thumb to like push the, the knife button. It's not on my on my stick. So, and I've been playing on tactical for years, so I can't go back anymore because it just feels weird. But there's still so many people playing his old Call of Duties. I know I said this in my last video, but there's, it's mad. It's mad that there's still people playing his old Call of Duties. Do any of you still play these? Do any of you still play like Black Ops, Black Ops 2, whatever? Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. Does anyone still play these old games? I know it's mental. It's mental that these people are still playing these games. Which is good because it, it, if, if people like me, you still got a 360, it allows you to go back and play these games and still have a bit of a, a bit of a fun, a bit of a blast, a bit of nostalgia. You know, back in the day when this game was in its prime, I don't remember if new tubes were so prominent then. I know the whole one man army thing was around, but I do not know whether there was loads of grenades then or if it's just you kind of you're playing the game so you don't really kind of uh, remember everything that happens if you get what i'm saying i knew this guy was coming in and i was really annoyed with myself because i really wanted to use my predator missile and i was like nope i'm gonna wait that still fucks up anyway what i was saying was i think in the heyday you, you kind of forget all the shit that's going on with the game you forget all the the the, the stupid stuff that's going on, you, you kind of forget. I mean, this bit here as well. I know they're calling it a UAV. I think it's this bit here. They're calling it a UAV. I've got cold blood on. This guy here in previous games did the same thing to me a few times. I don't know whether he's got some kind of hack or something that he can see through walls or whatever. I do not know, but there's no way he should even have known that I was there. As I get stabbed again in the same doorway. But. MW2 in 2017 is still not that bad. I mean, this game is crazy as fuck with all the stuff that's going on in it. I mean, everyone is using uh, new tubes or rocket launchers or some kind of explosive with danger close on. That is what it's like. Like I said, people not too many people camping. You get the odd one, one or two here or there. It's not like MW3 where a lot of people are camping. Everyone's like duck walking because obviously of uh, Sitrep Pro. This game's a little bit different. It's just, it's just more mental. It's just, it's just a mental game. But I still had a lot of fun playing it, and that's the most important thing about gaming: is that you're having fun while you're playing. 
whatever game it is you're playing. So I had fun. I enjoyed it. I was using the PP the, the P90 with Sly Hand, Cold Blooded, and Sit Rep. Uh, my skill my score streaks were Predator Missile, a tech helicopter and no, no, Harriers and Pavlo. Not that I get my Harriers or Pavlo or anything like that because I'm just not good enough at the moment. I'm still trying to find my aim, but I'm getting a lot better a lot better. And this is kind of my preparation for, for playing the new Call of Duty when it comes out on November the 3rd. Because I will not be playing the beta, as I've said a million times before, because I am on holiday. So, if any of you out there that watch me, you have any gameplays of the new Call of Duty. Actually, if any gameplays of the old Call of Duty, or any Call of Duty, and you want them to be featured on my channel, well then send them to me. You can do your own commentary if you like. You can even just send them to me raw and I will do a commentary over the top. It'd be good to go back to what I used to do years ago, where I used to like, showcase other people on my channel. I'm not saying you're going to get loads of subscribers from me, because you probably won't. But, any exposure is good exposure. So if it's something you're interested in, then uh, hit me up, send me a message on YouTube. Send me a link to your uh, video and I will upload it to my channel. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to subscribe to me. You can just just be anybody. But to wrap things up, it is good going back and playing some of the really old Call of Duty. And this game came out in like 2008, 2009, something like that. Fuck me, eight year old, eight year old game. Still loads of people playing it. I have no idea how many because it doesn't tell you the count anymore. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit of a ramble, but I'm just having fun again. I'm having fun with Call of Duty. Who thought I'd say that? Anyway, see you later. Bye.